Hello my friends, this is David Hayvri. Today we are at uh, Alei Zahav and uh, Leshem on our way to the west towards Ariel. I hope that you're enjoying this. If you are, be sure to subscribe, like and share it with your friends. Sorry for these bumps. But that is here to help people remember not to drive too quickly within the residential area. Alei Zahav is one of the some 34 or 35 towns of the Shamron Regional Council. It is a community, it's considered a mixed community, mixed being that there, some of the residents are religious families and some are secular families. Many of the towns in the Shamron are either religious or secular, where all of the residents are religious, or, or all are mostly secular. But here in Alei Zahav, it is a, a mixed town. So for instance, the town is opened on Shabbat for vehicles. In the religious community, we do not drive on Shabbat. So religious towns, the town, the gate, that we're passing through now, we're passing out. So the gate would be closed on Shabbat and there would be no vehicles driving around in the town. This town has both religious and secular and next to it is a much larger town called Leshem, which is a religious town and so is Peduel. Just in front of us we can see some of the the house is peeking behind, beyond the hill. Okay, so we are on the road from Alezahav, Leshem, and Bruchin. I'm going north now towards the Chotze Shamron, the 505 Trans-Samaritan Highway. We're not on it yet. We'll be passing by an Israeli town called Baruchin, just ahead of us. We can see all of this new construction going on, new homes that are being built, and we'll be ready soon. This whole area, these four towns, Bruchin, Alezahav, Piduel, and Leshem, together are considered the Ma'arava, Ma'arava area, the western area of the Shamron. And the four towns operate in some communal uh, facility. They have uh, high schools that are actually shared for the whole region. High schools for boys and for girls and uh, elementary schools, mostly for children of these uh, towns. And some towns further up north, not too far, uh, have uh, schools for the secular families, for the children of the secular families. This, uh, to the right of us, the pillbox is a watchtower for the army to uh, look and see that there are no uh, threats of terrorism coming from the Arab town that we're passing by, Rubukin. 
and ahead of us we can see a Barkhan. That's the community of Barkhan just in front of us and then to the right of that the industrial park, the Barkhan Industrial Park that has nearly 200 Israeli factories that employ Israelis and Palestinians. About 60 or 70 percent of the workforce there are Palestinian Arabs who are not Israeli citizens but are working in Israeli factories and receiving Israeli work benefits, Israeli salaries and uh, health benefits and, and so forth. Here we're coming up to road five, road five, which is the Chutzei Shamron, the Trans Samaritan Highway. We've turned off to the east. Ahead of us, we can see more factories that are part of the Ariel Industrial Park, which is just south of the Barkan Industrial Park. Barkan belongs to the Shamron Regional Council and uh, the Ariel Industrial Park belongs to the municipality of Ariel. Both of them are serving the same type of purpose, uh, factories and uh, workplaces for residents of this region and, and people come from further away as well. There are probably about 10,000 workers in the factories of the two industrial parks together. Ahead of us we can see an Arab or Palestinian town called Haris. That is to the east of us now and uh, we, as we come up to the Gitai Avisar Junction we'll see that this town is just north of the Chotzei Shamon, of the Road 5. Road 5, as you can see, is a four-lane highway. It starts at Tel Aviv, at Zomet Glilot, and it leads us all the way to Ariel. From Ariel to the Jordan Valley, it continues with two lanes, and that segment is called the 505. So this is the 5. From Ariel to the east, it's called 505. And there it's only two lanes for now. And together, this is called the Cross Samaritan Highway because it cuts across from Tel Aviv to the Jordan Valley the entire width of Israel. The entire width of Israel is about 70 kilometers. So it would take about an hour, 20 minutes, or an hour, about an hour, 20 minutes from uh, the Jordan Valley to Tel Aviv. This is the Gitai Avisar intersection. Now, ahead of us, we see the new bus company that has begun working this region since uh, the beginning of 2022. Yes, we're in 2022 now. And uh, this uh, bus company has replaced the Afikim company that was the, the previous uh, owner of the license for public transportation in this region. So now we have Tinufa. Tinufa is the new company and uh, I hope that they offer even better bus service for the entire Shamron area going west. To the north of us now we can see a town called Kifel Haris and at Kifel Haris there is the burial place of Joshua. Joshua Benun, Joshua of the Bible, who took the place of Moses as the leader of Israel. And to the right of us, we can see the Eshel Shamon Hotel, 
and the Bible, Muse Bible Museum Park, the Eshel Shamon. Hope to see you at all of these places. I hope that you have subscribed to the channel and I look forward to hearing from you.